Hey guys, it's Angie. Welcome back to my channel. I hope all of you guys are doing well and staying safe. So for today's video, you guys, I want to share with you how I make my breakfast burritos. I love burritos, you guys. I can have them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and actually that's what we're going to have the burritos for today. We're going to have them for dinner. We're having breakfast for dinner and we love it. So yeah, guys, these burritos are super fast and easy to make. There is hardly any prep work at all and they're really, really good. So if you guys want to know how to set and make these burritos, stay tuned and watch. All right, guys, so here are the ingredients that we're going to use for our burritos. You're going to need some pre-cooked turkey sausage. Uh, and some tortillas, flour tortillas, any brand that you guys prefer, that's what you guys can get. Also, you guys, there are different sizes of tortillas, of flour tortillas for the burritos. Go ahead and get any size you want, but remember, the smaller the tortilla, obviously, the less filling you're going to be able to put in your burritos. You're also going to need eggs, turkey bacon, and some potato O'Brien's right here. And yeah, these are the first thing I'm gonna do is put some um, bacon, sorry, I lost the word there. Some bacon into an air fryer. You don't have to use the air fryer, you guys. You can always just use a skillet to fry your bacon, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use the air fryer. I like to add two strips of bacon per burrito, but you guys feel free to add as much or as little bacon as you like. One thing I'm not gonna do is tell people how much bacon to put in their burritos. So. That's what I like to do, so I'm going to go ahead and put it in the air fryer. And I'm going to have it cook for 20 minutes, so that should be good. And now, you guys, we're going to start uh, cooking the O'Brien potatoes, all right? All right, guys, so I have a skillet here at medium heat with some oil. I'm going to go ahead and add two cups of the potato O'Brien, of the O'Brien potatoes to it. Um, that's about how much I like to add to each burrito. But again, you guys, Add as little, as much as you like. I'm actually gonna go ahead and cook three cups, because I'm making three burritos. So, we're just gonna go ahead, you guys, and let these cook for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and give them a quick stir, and then I'm gonna cover them, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, as you can see, our bacon has finished cooking in the air fryer. Now what I'm going to do next, you guys, is um, while the potatoes were cooking, as you can see, they're already starting to get a nice brown to them. While they were cooking, I went ahead and sliced some sausage, the pre-cooked sausage, turkey sausage, and we're going to go ahead and add it in here. And since this is already pre-cooked, you guys, all we're really doing is um, warming up the sausage. Alright, so let's go ahead and add the sausage. Alright guys, and now that we have almost everything ready to assemble these babies, we're going to go ahead and make the eggs. Uh, I like to do two eggs per burrito, so I do like to make them um, two eggs at a time. So what I'm going to do is add some butter to the skillet, then I'm going to go ahead and beat some eggs and add them to the skillet and then just make the eggs. Alrighty? <laughs> All right, you guys, so my butter has melted. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add two beat eggs. I did add pepper, salt, and some onion powder to the eggs. Go ahead and throw them on there. And just wait for them to cook. You can make them however you want. You can make them scramble, or what I like to do is make it almost like an omelet type of egg, and then I just like to fold it or cut it in half and then add it to my burrito. I just feel that you get m more egg per bite that way i don't know what it might just be my imagination but that's how i feel so that's how i do it but again you can make them scramble or you can make them like i'm sure i'm gonna show you guys it's really up to you so just gonna make sure all that is getting to the bottom of the skillet or the extra there you go and then we're gonna go ready get ready to flip this and i'll be right back with you guys all right, guys, so I went ahead and flipped the egg. Now I'm just going to make wait for it to cook a little more. Then we're going to heat up our tortillas, and it's going to be bomb. 
we're gonna be ready to assemble these amazing amazing burritos all right see you guys in a few all right you guys so our potatoes and our sausage are nice whoopsie back in there are nice and warm our sausages sausage and potatoes are both nice and brown so we can go ahead and turn this off already my like i said my bacon already finished cooking so now you guys it's for time for the best part <sighs> time to assemble these beauties oh yes oh yes but first you guys we're gonna go ahead and warm up the flour tortilla and then we'll go ahead and assemble these already All right, you guys, so we're ready to assemble our burrito. I already went ahead and add the egg to the um, to the tortilla. So you guys can add it like this, or what I like to do is cut it and basically make it so it's this way. So when I roll it, it's a little easier. Basically get two parts of it and just layer them on top of each other like that. Then I go ahead and add two strips of bacon. I add some of the mixture with the potatoes and the sausage. And this part is optional, you guys. You can also add sour cream. I do like to add sour cream. And you can add some nice uh, salsa to it. Um, so I like to add it inside and then I like to add more after each bite, but that's me. Um, some people might not want the salsa inside, so you can always just ask them. And then we go ahead and roll the burrito. Okay, you guys, I am no, I am no uh, master at rolling burritos. I am not. I, I always make a mess, but it doesn't matter because they are delicious anyway. So just little by little start rolling it. Just fold in the sides like this and then start to roll it. Tuck in the sides. I feel like once you tuck in the sides, it's really like easy after that but like I said it's all it's all in the roll of the hand or the tortilla or I don't know okay so and then I just go like this and then I flip it and there it is my burrito <laughs> alright guys our burritos are ready to be enjoyed and devoured by hungry people I just want to show you guys how they look from the inside oh my gosh they look amazing 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 thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and I hope you guys try it and that you guys love it I'll see you guys next week bye